A face transplant is carried out in three main stages, donor surgery, recipient surgery, and the final transfer of the donor face, known as the allograft inset. In the donor surgery, surgeons carefully remove the entire scalp, face, eyelids, ears, and key skeletal portions of the skull. During this process, major blood vessels and facial nerves are identified, preserved where possible, and divided with precision. Parts of the facial bones, such as the orbits, cheekbones, and chin, are included to maintain natural alignment of muscles and ligaments, which is essential for both facial movement and appearance. Once the donor tissue is prepared, attention shifts to the recipient surgery. Here, all scarred and damaged tissue of the scalp, face, eyelids, and ears is removed. Matching cuts are made to the facial bones so that the donor graft can fit seamlessly. Surgeons also carefully prepare the recipient's blood vessels and nerves for reconnection, ensuring the transplanted tissue has the best chance of survival and function. With both sides ready, the allograft inset begins. The donor face is transferred into place, and the bony structures are rigidly fixed together with plates and screws. Nerves, such as those controlling sensation in the lips and jaw, are reconnected under a microscope. Blood vessels from the donor are linked to the recipient's circulation to restore blood flow to the transplanted tissue. Finally, the eyelids, lips, nasal passages, and oral lining are sutured into position. The skin and scalp are redraped and tailored to fully restore the recipient's facial form. Through this complex procedure, surgeons aim not only to rebuild appearance, but also to return vital facial functions, such as blinking, smiling, and speaking offering patients a chance at a new life.